Oh, sure. Absolutely. Uh, so I, as you might imagine, in addition to helping organizations like NAMBA uh, construct mentoring programs, I'm also very active in the programs and some of the programs that we administer. And one in particular is the nonprofit that I referenced earlier, uh, where I was, um, I, we, we help mentor college students, but uh, many of them are first generation college students and uh, in, in, in this particular program, um, there's a lot of not only first generation college students because we partner with a community college, um, they often also have a lot of other things that they're really balancing. And, and so it's been extremely gratifying for me. It's one of those things where I think as mentors, we all want to mentor someone who reminds us of our younger selves. And what surprises a lot of people when I, um, and, and particularly there was this one young woman who just was so, um, and so passionate and so eager and so smart and talented and had such great vision for herself. And yet she was a single mom who was first generation college student and was battling, was, was challenged with a lot of things. And so it was interesting because when you look at my life today, you wouldn't realize or you wouldn't know, you know, sort of what my background was or it might surprise some people to, to know that I was a single mom at a very, very early age and out of my own at an even earlier age. And, and so it just had some very significant challenges early in life. And I talk about that a little bit in my book. And so we just connected in such a way and, and it really felt incredible to be able to talk to her about the challenges that she was facing from a place of empathy um, and, and really uh, help her with next steps as she's thinking about what her goals are, what that's going to look like. And, and just more than anything, be a source of encouragement where she actually could see that it was possible. Uh, so um, that's been, for me, the most gratifying is, is being able to work with that population just because I have a deep level of empathy for that.